It's been a rough couple of weeks for the Lancers of Federal Hawking, but Rachel Wall Brown is here to join me on the desk, and you saw some major improvement from the girls when they hosted River Valley. There was a big upset on Monday night, Sean, and unlike the boys against Eastern last week, the Lady Lancers came out on top this time around. Coach Jeremy Tolson attributes that win to his team finally digging deep and playing that full 32 minutes. Unfortunately, their record books, I can't say they did the same against Belpre on Thursday. Having five players consistently going 100% is something not common for this squad. Now, Destiny Tabler is their go-to girl, but she can't do it alone. For a quarter, though, things began falling into place, along with some sharp three-point shots. However, fouls and a slacking defense gave Belpre those free points needed to pull ahead. But Tolson might have found a useful tactic, subbing to keep the energy up. We do have a deep bench, too, so I think that you have the ability to play multiple people, so uh, try and keep them fresh. It's obvious that this team has great chemistry and the talent needed to win, but they can't they can only go as far as they let themselves go. Yeah, so it seems like the Lady Lancers are really on the right track, but the boys, they just didn't get that memo. Sean, I think the bus took the wrong exit on the way to the last few games because they just aren't showing up. The Lancers have not won a game since they faced a since they faced Nelsonville York on December 23rd. However, they steadily improved their scoring deficit with each matchup. That was until Federal Hawking took on Southern, and let me tell you, things definitely went south. And losing by 25 points in their next game against South Gallia increased their losing streak to nine. This puts the Lancers right back to square one. Turnovers have been fe both Federal Hawking teams kryptonite this season, so it was no surprise that the boys struggled with ball control against South Gallia on Tuesday. And when they did manage to take a shot, few actually made it in the basket, which would not be a problem if someone other than Carter Russell would rebound the ball to give the Lancers another shot at the bucket. But these second chances are handed out like candy when Fedhawk is on defense. As of now, the Lancers are sitting on a 3-13 and record, but with Wahama and Eastern rounding out their season, a happy ending can be in Fedhawk's future. Yeah, they're going to be looking to climb up those standings. Rachel, thanks for joining us. And with a big